turf war between Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung, who represents the centre, is escalating. This time over the promotion of senior IS officer Shakuntala Gamlin as the Delhi Chief Secretary. The Delhi government has accused Gamlin of serving as a lobbyist for power companies. The LG responded by saying the Chief Minister was wrong in attacking a woman from the northeast. Shakuntala Gamlin was appointed yesterday as acting Chief Secretary by the Lieutenant Governor, ignoring Kejriwal's advice asking her to refuse the post she took charge today. Kejriwal's government says the lieutenant governor has violated the constitution with Gamblin's appointment in a case of blatant administrative overreach. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia went so far as to say the BJP through the LG of Delhi has attempted a coup. And in a strongly worded letter to the lieutenant governor of Delhi, the chief minister has said, and I quote, I'm aghast by your questionable instructions to post an officer of your choice. You have bypassed the democratically elected government. You opted not to follow the law, but tried to take over the government. I strongly urge you to remain within the confines of the constitution and the laws. Whatever the political pressures, your duty is to uphold the constitution. And Arvind Kejriwal has uh, also tweeted saying he is seeking an appointment with the president to apprise him of the situation in Delhi. And in a separate letter, the Aam Aadmi Party has accused Shakuntala Gamlin of lobbying for dist power distribution companies. The letter says uh, Gamlin has been consistently pestering me to write some sort of uh, guarantee letter to PFC to favor reliance-owned companies. If the Delhi government writes, writes loan guarantee letters, it would be liable to pay in case the discounts default. If the Delhi government were to pay this liability, electricity rates would sky rocket. Such comfort letters were given by earlier Congress government. Why should the Delhi government act as a guarantor to a private entity? There have been many other instances when she's been found lobbying for these companies. I urge you to kindly relieve her of her charge as principal secretary power.